Now, although the skyline of Dubai has only emerged over the past couple of decades, this is surely its most recognizable feature. At more than 800 meters, the world's tallest tower, the Burj Khalifa. Now, as well as a designer hotel and hundreds of luxury apartments, there are also 37 floors of office space. But while it might seem like a magnificent place to go to work each morning, not many people have the opportunity. And that is because almost two thirds of those offices are still lying empty. The skyscraper opened to great razzmatazz in 2010, just weeks after the Emirates financial crisis. The tallest building, obviously. But even though the economy's picked up, property experts like Alan say its offices are part empty because they don't meet the needs of companies setting up or expanding here. It's a global icon and it's a fantastic and prestigious address, but that's not the kind of image a lot of the multinational corporates want to portray these days. They want to be seen as sensible and businesslike, not over the top and glitzy. It's also very expensive. There are buildings of equal quality 50 meters across the road from Burj Khalifa which are available at half of the rent. The Burj was sold off by the developer floor by floor and while some owners are happy to hang on to their investment even without tenants others want to sell. Last month an entire floor of the building was listed online with a starting price of about five and a half million dollars and the auction firm doesn't expect it to be a one-off. This model works excellent in situations where the supply exceeds the demand. People say, you know what, I don't know if it's going to get any cheaper, but that minimum bid looks like a good deal. Let's go look at it. In the case of the Burj Khalifa, we've had inquiries and what we call hits uh, from literally all over the world. But it's not just the Burj. Across Dubai, about a third of completed office space is vacant. It's got and Alan says the figures are also skewed bar, by an imbalance between what's hotel, been built like and what firms are looking for. Nearby. In the, the better locations and the, the better quality, better designed, better thought, thought through schemes, these are beginning to fill up now. Uh, and there's not such a great oversupply as you might think. There's still a reasonable supply of medium uh, and small quality suites. Uh, and th there's a, a, a massive oversupply of really poor quality space. So what we'll see is that the really poor stuff will continue to struggle. And just a few hundred metres from the Burj Khalifa is one area that's been struggling. Much of the business bay development was put on hold in 2009. Some reports suggest 80% of the officers on this project are without tenants. The master developers question those figures and say the picture's much rosier, especially on the more established part of the project. These workers are laying roads that will serve the officers as well as shops and apartments. The firm's boss says infrastructure is key to luring clients. A lot of international companies do come to Dubai, and most of these do require certain setups, and these setups do require excellent infrastructure for two reasons. One, for them to set up immediately and do business, and the second, for the good of their people. And there could soon be more of those people. A report out this week by Merrill Lynch suggested Dubai's population could double in the next decade. And that had bode well for office buildings new and old, provided they measured up to expectations.